words cannot describe how much respect I have for the studio for giving us such great animation. I don't think it's peak animation, but last episode fight animation is just such a delight in a season riddled with such mid adaptations. <laughs> Tower of God and the power of fantasy too, not just brute forcing it down mid with the main character popping off, but rather having these side characters have their story be actually good and then for the main character and his party to then help just make that even better, right? Before we had Angie with Rick, in last episode we had Kelvin, the champion with Mr. Brushton and had all these things about how he was doing this for coach and the gym and trying to fake wins to make it seem close but at the end of the day he felt trapped and Mr. Brushton being that guy that allowed Mr. Champion to go all out and then everyone felt good about him. It's just such a good show. Now, we are at a point where it's only Mr. Brushton and Rick in the match so the match is probably just gonna be dumb shit hype. Just. This dumb fun. We've already gotten everything we needed. Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah. Bondi and Catgirl. Who's the better simp? I don't know. Giga Bruston. Yep. No, no withdrawing. No, no, uh uh. I need to see a match between you two, and it better go crazy. Yeah, you ain't backing out. Yo, Rick, are you ready for this, bro? I don't think he is. <laughs> Wait, is he balding? Wait, he's balding! <laughs> My man, you're only 32. How are you already balding? <laughs> bro, the stress was too much? Hair is actually falling out of him right now. The shaking in fear as he realizes he has to go up against this goddamn orc, bro. It's over. Damn. You're cooked. You are cooked. This fight on equal ground. Oh, shit. Kelvin got caught faking reactions, man. Oh, shit, bro. But here's an interesting question I'll pose to you. And Mr. Broston basically made the same comment last episode. Would you guys actually care if someone lied about it? Even though that you never knew and you enjoyed the content. Because what Mr. Kelvin did was... He went easy. To make it seem more fun, more entertaining, and a professional... Just prioritizing the audience's entertainment rather than what is the truth. Isn't that what that matters? It... I think that a lot of people get mad because they feel like they've been deceived. It's not about whether or not the content was better. Even if the faked content was more exciting, more entertaining than the unfaked content, it's not about that because people want to condemn others for like lying to them, right? It's like, oh, well, I was having a lot of fun when I was not aware, but now I'm aware, I feel mad. I feel like I've been deceived. And even if that content was good, it's about you lying to me, the audience, therefore we want to cancel you. That is the base like mentality, I think, for the masses when they feel like they've been deceived from shit like this. To me, I feel like at the end of the day, you never really know what people are saying is the truth or a lie. It's just content at the end of the day. It's just performance and entertainment. And the fact that someone created such an entertaining content, despite having faked it, I feel like it has to count for something. <laughs> so is he gonna get canceled now? Yeah, bro, just go on a two-week vacation, then come back with a twit longer. I don't know, with like a new dog or something save. I've learned from my mistakes, I've gone through therapy, I'm good now. That's what everyone does. It was great. The magic shit he was doing too. Oh. Mm. He was deceiving them. For their sake, though. It's, it's weird, right? Because he, like, prioritized their entertainment first. So he put on a fake performance, which was more fun. But people are now mad because he faked it, even though they had more fun. 
前なりに気を使ってくれてのことだろうそれに次で勝てばよかろう Yeah, just hope that fucking <laughs> Ori Halcom Fist doesn't show up because if they do, no matter training, I don't think it's gonna help him win against them. Coach cares about you, man. He's like your father. Aww. Dude, genuinely, like, I usually don't give a fuck about, like, side character relationship with other dudes. But in this show, like, the relationship between the champion and the coach, the coach being this guy who uplifted the champion from the streets. And wanting nothing but the best for him. And then, and then the champion seeing that the coach's gym membership and everything else, the ratings are falling because he's too strong and having to like nerf himself and put up a fake performance. But at the end of the day, the coach, all he wanted was the best for champion. Like, I actually care, man. It, it, somehow this show made me actually give a fuck about these two. It's, it's decent. Father! Oh, <laughs> bro's 10, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it feel like they just walked in on a kiss scene? It's like... Uh, <laughs> he just turns it around like he's embarrassed like we got caught doing something. <laughs> no, 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 we're good, we're good. It's like atonement. It's そうまい。ファンズがなビインセイン。リックさんはどちらにお引きこもり。んで、ああ、だってみんなだよ。ひきこもり。うん。リックさん。ケルビン選手が負けたこともあり。ぜひともケッシャオ戦に出場していただきた
He just wants to know what it feels like to lose for once. Damn. Suffering from success. Come on, Rick. Yeah, try to put yourself in Rick's shoes too, bro. Like, I know what you're saying, but goddamn, you're telling this to a guy that's gonna probably die during the fucking match and get resurrected. Aww. How can we say no? Backstory. ブロストンが主翼だ。よ。よろしくお願いします。ハウ。ここまで。筋肉の動きと魔力の流れに意識を向ければ分かる。Next level. So Let's go, Broston! Come on, you gotta repay him the favor, man. You gotta repay him the favor. The size of this omurice, bro. Holy shit. I bet they had to make special sari portions just for her. I refuse to believe this is the standard portion for omurice here, man. They probably had to, like, make special dishes just for her during this time. Yes. He's not 40! He just around... <laughs> around the age of 40. They just ra I'm surprised she hasn't said 50 yet. They keep rallying this shit up. Like 32 year old. He started off 32. And from the beginning, there was like 40 ish year old man. Now he's like around the age of 40. You just call him 50, bro. Poor 40 year old man. Do you think we'll see that next episode? I don't think without it, he'll be able to entertain Mr. Broston or like show him that kind of like threat, right? I forget what was it called, but it was a crazy skill that activates when you're pretty much on death door and it's an insane skill. It's just like boom and then huge attack came out and the dragon just got killed. Basically, Mr. Broston will activate the conditions because he needs to be in like a near-death situation. That's perfect. Huge parfait. Delays. That'd be cool, man. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Alright. Damn, we got some arena fan service today. Oh, he's nervous. More bunny girls. Man, that's... <laughs> I don't know how flash she really was until now. <laughs> that's insane. That... <laughs> It's, it's not even like, what happened? They just didn't even draw it in. It, it, this is literally flat. This is a boy's chest. I got bigger titties than her. See, and now it's back. What? That one frame was did her bad. Now it looks like it's even, right? It, it, no, no, that, that frame was just like a very bad angle for Angie. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> Mm, Angie gets her heart fluttered by Rick, huh? Okay, okay. Let's go. Bro, 
if today's episode is a hype power fantasy between Rick and Mr. Brosten, then the finale is a hot spring trip, slice of life, just wrap it up like that. That's the perfect ending. Please, please do that, bro. <laughs> Renet realized hot spring, hot spring, hot spring. You must win. I think she said I'll wear something for you at the hot springs. I don't know exactly what, but the hot spring is on the line right now. Okay, it worked, I guess. Dude, her titty size just changes. Dude, this shit just fluctuates. It's so much bigger. Like, there is no consistency, and it's not even a big problem. It's, I, I think it's honestly hilarious that it just keeps changing. Like, like sometimes it's C cup, sometimes it's triple D, sometimes it's triple F right now, and something like it shrinks back. Like, all over the Renus bus size. What the hell? Well, Rick needs to win to fulfill whatever promise that, you know, Renette was whispering into his ear. I hope that Rick wins. I don't know, maybe it'll be a tie. Fight! <laughs> Blood! First blood! Yeah. A dozen blows? I thought he just went in quick and did the whole one slice thing technique that we taught Angie. A dozen blows? Slow motion. He's still not moving though. <laughs> One single straight. The cloud just disperses. Oh. I'll wear a bunny girl suit for you in the hot springs? Well, something like that, right? Mm. Okay, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta have that happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want Angie to go. I don't want it just to be Rick and uh, Renette, though. I want the whole party to come. I think it'd be such a fun slice of life ending just to wrap up the season. <laughs> yup. Mm. Mm. What, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> She's so innocent and pure, man. And she getting flustered like this? I guess she is too young for Rick. <laughs> Bro, how does this back have like multiple six packs? There's there's a six pack in the middle, right? There's a whole six pack in the middle in the area. And then the sides, one, two, three, four, five. Like his sides, the lats have their own six packs. And then the shoulders, the arms, it's a, what the hell is his muscle definition, bro? His even fucking head, the back of his head pretty much has like a fucking six pack. Oh! <laughs> people outside the stadium are sc fucking screaming, bro. Not even people inside, they're outside. <laughs> Single non-magic punch. Ooh. 
The hell? Air cushion. Oh, he, he used like low level magic to deflect the punch. Incantationless. Oh my god. In, 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 oh my god. Incantationless, bro. Incantationless. Rudy ain't got shit on Rick. Took the attack and died accidentally. <laughs> Half his body is showing me the backstory. Oh. Air cushioned. Let him cook. No, he's got a plan. Nani? How high is he going? Okay. This is like the first time we've ever seen Rick really utilize magic during his battles, right? So much air cushions, incantationless, deflecting, deflecting, jumping, positioning. He even has like an air projectile, air shot. Shut down! Mm -hmm. And like the craziest shit is, there is a gap between like other people like Angie and the S ranks, right? There's levels. But even within the realm of the S ranks, I feel like where Mr. Broston is versus Rick, there is still a gap. But even if they're in a separate tier by themselves, within that tier, the gap between like number one and whatever Rick is, it's crazy. Super close range air shot. Wait, 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 wait. Careful. <laughs> Why is he monologuing? Why is he saying you become strong? I'm proud of you. Now, witness my true power or <laughs> some shit. Usually dudes only say this when we're about to get fucking dusted, but it's a good thing because Rick needs to take fatal damage. If he doesn't take fatal damage, if he's not in the life or death situation, his innate skill will not activate. So something needs to change here. <laughs> <laughs> no words could make me happier now. Allow me to beat your ass. Oh, so wholesome. That's right. Make his dreams come true. Rick is the one. Man! This is a heartwarming scene, what the hell? Mr. Broston almost fucking... Some tears might came out, man. <laughs> Let me achieve your dream for you. I'll pay it back. Damn. His heart has been touched. おれ。俺にネットが連れてきた。あの時から早2年。今や先輩。いい機会だから少し昔話を創設に関わることだし。Wait, wait, 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 what what the what what the hell happened there? I don't think there's a post credit scene, but at the end there, I thought all this heartwarming speech moment was to kind of I don't know show gratitude, and then for Mr. Broston to just do an insane attack and just demolish us, and then for us to have our innate skill activated and do that. But Orihakum Fist founder, there is some interesting reason as to why this 
guild was created, this party was created. I thought that it was simply gather strong S-class rankers and then hunt down the Kaiser Alpha Theater or some shit, but there's some more secrets. Interesting. And that's another episode of Osani V Adventure where, again, it's not just random fucking fighting. There's meaning behind the fights. We've learned that Mr. Broston has been waiting for the one to show up one day that could show him true challenge and the training plan everything was already prepared for rick because he's been waiting and now rick may be the person to kind of deliver that wish come true for mr broston there's some funny slice of life moments with like the hot spring stuff potentially rewards after this battle which i hope we see to next episode i feel like the finale will be basically half of it will be rick versus mr broston after uh the lore drop and then maybe the second half will be like hot spring and just having fun and just like wrapping up the season i think that'd be fantastic but another great episode for osani adventure seeing mr rick use different ways to fight right he's like using air cushion incantationless magic very basic ones but utilizing it in fights that we've never seen before and maybe we'll see the dna skill come out only one way to find out that's it from me if you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.